Good Saturday evening, everyone. I am meteorologist Chris Guevara. I am going to be giving you guys your Saturday recreation forecast. So that's for those who are going to be hiking or camping or really anything along those lines. And, you know, we did have a snowmaker move through the mountains and well, it did bring some significant amount of snowfall into areas into the high country. But before we get into the high country, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, where this current snowfall is as we speak. So right now it's staying just a little bit south of Pueblo and it's going to continue to keep pushing its way southward towards the southern portion of the state. So we're talking then getting into the state lines of Colorado as well as New Mexico. And as it continues to keep tracking its way southward, well, it's still impacting some of those mountains uh, sitting along into the front range. And that's also including in the Pike National Forest, which also holds Pikes Peak. So just right behind me is a live look of Pikes Peak right now. Uh, current time is 6.50 p.m. on a Saturday, uh, April 22nd. So this is going to likely change, you know, over the course of the remainder of our Saturday and into our Sunday. Again, we are seeing a good amount of some snowfall that is falling on Pikes Peak and also even a little bit of some of that cloud cover starting to roll in as well too. So it's giving, uh, this is at the summit of Pikes Peak. So anyone who is going to be, uh, let's say, planning a hike for our, our Sunday, April 23rd, uh, just expect that there's already going to be snowfall on the ground. I know I've been seeing some pictures already uh, for people who've done the Manitou incline already are having to bring spikes and the stairs are already kind of getting a little snow covered over, especially start getting a little bit higher into those elevations. So this is that live look at Pikes Peak and that is down in Manitou Springs, which is very close to uh, Colorado Springs. Now, we did have this one webcam that's not working out a little too much right now, but kind of again, getting a little bit of a live look of what's going on. Now the Grand, Grand Mesa Lodge, their webcams, I believe, stop around either like five or six o'clock. So this is just a little bit of a time loop that you're seeing uh, as of right now. Steamboat Springs thing, pretty clear, right? You know, was, that most of that snowfall occurred last night. Uh, Longs Peak up in Rocky Mountain National Park. We can't really even see Longs Peak at all. So a lot of snowfall is still impacting those areas still, again, in the front range and even a little bit of portions into the foothills. Now, we're going to switch up a little bit of our hiking forecast as we kind of look our way. And yeah, if you remember from our Friday, I mentioned Garay. Um, so we're going to switch it up a little bit still in the San Juan mountain range. So we're going to be talking about into Telluride. So for Telluride tomorrow, we are still going to be staying around those temperatures into those lower 40s. So again, if you have any type of hiking plans uh, to make sure you do bring a jacket. Um, I do know Bear Creek is one of those trails in Telluride. So just make sure that uh, when you start getting out a little bit more and you're getting a little bit of elevation gain, temperatures are going to cool a little bit, but we're not talking about a significant temperature drop compared to if you're going to do the incline or even bar trail leading up to Pikes Peak. But then again, still be properly dressed. Make sure you have the proper footwear because there was still a good amount of snowfall in the San Juans as well as into Telluride. So there's going to be most likely a lot of slick spots as well as make sure you are watching your footing too because with a good amount of snowpack in the San Juans means that where the ground is situated compared to the snowpack, we're staying much higher. So you start gaining the elevation, you're going to start adding on a little bit more into that snowpack. And so what that's going to give you, if you make the wrong step or so, and you step into some softer snow rather than compact snow, you're going to fall. You're going to real realize that, you know, some snow is going to get all the way up into where your kneecaps are, or even can get all the way up to where your waist is, uh, depending on how high the snowpack is already. But in terms of conditions, though, we're not going to be expecting anything in terms of snowfall. We're just going to be staying under partly cloudy skies, and it's going to be across most of the western slope. Now we're going to switch over here into Grand Junction. And now we're going to see what the camping forecast is going to be for tonight. And so, well, we're going to be staying around into those mid 30s. That's going to be our overnight low. Again, overnight lows do not get achieved until the following day around the morning hours of around 5 a.m. So 35 degrees is going to be around Sunday 
at 5 a.m. So leading up to that event, those temperatures are going to continue to work their way downwards towards that 35. Again, it's still going to be a kind of chilly night, but we're not going to be expecting those temperatures to be staying around into that 20 degree range. It's still cold enough that you could still have a little bit of a campfire, depending on where you're camping at. Colorado National Monument uh, bans the use of any type of campfires um, over at the uh, Satterhorn Campground. If you are going to be hiking anywhere in the monument, again, around any of the BLM lands, just make sure you are still properly dressed, but here in Grand Junction, we're going to be expecting that these temperatures are going to be staying a little bit warmer uh, getting into tomorrow. We're talking about in the mid-60s, 66 to be exact here in Grand Junction. And obviously, surrounding areas and you know surrounding hiking locations and depending on their elevations, uh, that's just going to fluctuate those temperatures a little bit, especially if you're going to be taking Rimrock Drive. You'll be heading up anywhere, maybe up to the visitor center, and taking a little bit of some hiking paths over there it's going to be a little bit cooler not as much as down in grand junction but we will notice around about a three to five temperature drop some can get up to around six or seven degrees but for your camping forecast if you do plan on camping tonight just make sure you just have some proper attire and a good sleeping bag but overall you're going to be staying under partly cloudy skies car cover is going to taper off saturday night into sunday and those temperatures are going to be staying around into those mid 30s as we arrive our way into uh, Sunday around at 5 a.m. before we start gradually start warming up. Now, for our Sunday, we are going to be staying dry, and we're talking dry here across the western slope. We are seeing still some of that cloud cover here for our Saturday. We're starting to see that push its way all the way off eastward. And here's a little bit of that clearing. This is around 7 a.m. on Sunday. And we're just going to continue then to see a little bit of sunshine start to return, getting out of the overcast skies and starting to see a little bit of a mix of some sun and clouds. So that's going to be a beautiful Sunday. Now we're going to be expecting anything for here across the western slope at all. So we're going to have a fairly dry day, but we're going to be tracking another disturbance getting into Monday. And this is where you're going to want to bring Again, maybe an umbrella. If you do plan on hiking, just get ready that those grounds are going to be saturated and it is going to be muddy. And then we're going to start cooling off a little bit. But temperatures from Monday night to Tuesday are still expected to stay above that freezing point. So we're not really going to be expecting too much in terms of a freezing standpoint, at least here in Grand Junction. But again, you get up to some of those higher elevations. Uh, it, for instance, the Colorado National Monument, you are going to notice uh, a little bit of some freezing. So as we kind of progress our way, um, we are going to notice that the cloud cover is going to start rolling in with that next disturbance. That's going to be on Monday. And then we're going to start tracking another rain and snowmaker. So we're not going to be expecting too much in terms of valley rain until around the evening hours. So I think for most people, it's going to be just a close call and maybe just getting wrapped up, getting ready for dinner. Mountains are going to start seeing some snowfall as early as the afternoon hours, and then that's going to continue to keep pushing. We're always starting to see some of that snowfall again all the way off into the foothills and always starting to extend its way down a little bit into the high country. And that's just going to continue to keep pushing eastward, but it's also going to be a lot more widespread. So we're going to also notice... Again, the mountains are going to receive a good helping of snowfall, and we're, talk we're talking about uh, two days of possible snowfall, both Monday and Tuesday, uh, before we get our way into the middle of the week, and those conditions are going to slowly start to dry out. Uh, but that is your recreation forecast. If you do plan on hiking tomorrow, it's going to be that beautiful day. It's going to be the best day and a great way to end off the week. Again, make sure you are properly dressed. If you do plan on camping, just make sure that you do have the proper attire, the proper equipment as well, too. Make sure you have those trekking poles, uh, correct hiking boots. Make sure you have spikes uh, going into any shaded areas. We're still going to have some ice-covered uh, trails, so just make sure you take it easy over there. But overall, uh, we're going to be looking like a fantastic Sunday, and then we're going to get ready for our next disturbance to start moving in as we get our way into the start of next week. Again, I am meteorologist Chris Cavella, uh, and I will be here tomorrow for April 23rd, which is Sunday, uh, for your next recreation forecast.